Hello, Aku here. Welcome back to Pathfinder. I've got lots of stuff to do. It's been a while since I've done an episode. Uh, I've been a little bit busy and uh, I've been doing a bit of building on this. I'm starting to build a new base. It's not here. Uh, that has run out of power now. It's not here and uh, I'm not actually ready to show you where it is. But what I'm going to do is show you that. And um, that's the only clue you're going to get. Right, so... Um, Next episode, the base should be ready to move into, but I'm not going to go there just yet. I've got a to-do list. I'm going to to-do list using some just uh, wooden things here. I can make one of these things here. It's got a sponge wipe. Sponge and a cactus green. Sponge is yellow wool, some water. And that can wipe these clear, so I can actually use this as a to-do list. So a couple of things I want to mention before we get started. Uh, this is from comments on earlier episodes as well. Ender storage. Someone said, why don't I have an ender chest and an ender pouch? And as you can see, I have got an ender chest with a matching ender pouch. The ender, pouch, the ender chest actually is over here at the minute. I've been sending things into it from here. I have been making lab blocks. Ooh. Um, so I've been feeding stone and quartz into there, making lab blocks. Getting this full of lab blocks. And I've been doing some building. I've, I've got a problem though. It's, as you can see, I've got a bag missing. When you put stuff in your inventory, Often you end up with things getting chucked on the floor. Uh, I don't know a good way of showing you this, but the combination of no inventory and low stacks means uh, if I grab all of that, I mean, just things are on the floor, yeah? At some point I have lost my black baggins bag, and my black baggins bag had in my uh, crescent wrench, my hammer, my sword some other stuff, so I've lost all that, so I need to make all that again, which has pissed me off a little bit, which is uh, maybe why I haven't played a day or so as well, because that was one of the last things I noticed before I uh, before I stopped, so I've lost a lot of shit. Luckily for me, I've got my Philosopher's Stone and my quest book still. Not that not that hard to make again, but yeah, my Black Baggins bag has gone with all the stuff that was within it, so I need to make a hammer. Uh, I'll probably make an excavator as well. Not too bad, because we've got loads of resources. I did a lot of mining after the last episode, what I was going for mainly was this stuff. I did a lot of mining in the dimension that I made. The dimension with the nether block tendrils. I did a lot of mining in there. I've got a lot of these dimensional shards. We are going to use these in just a little while. In this episode we're going to use these. As you can see I've got loads of ores. I've got a big backlog of ores. Because my processing isn't automated. Which is why I thought, right, bollocks, I'm going to build a new base. In the new base we're going to have a big reactor in it and a big turbine. I've got the resources to make it. What we need is Eulorium, and I've got a dimlet for Eulorium, nether Eulorium blocks. So, I shall be working towards that. Oh, the one thing that's pissed me off for losing my hammer is it had silky on it, didn't it? And I've got no more emeralds. Balls. Um, I believe... I don't know if I've shown you this. I can't actually remember. I was using a... I was using a, an autonomous activator to drop things that uses power. This block placer from open blocks does not use power. It does the same thing but doesn't use power. So that's all good. And uh, it's got a redstone clock on there. So if I don't want to mine anything up, this has got fortune on it yet. Uh, what have we got in there that uses fortune? Nothing in there. Anything in there that can be fortuned? I don't think fortune works on these things. I think you get the same. No matter what, there we go. Diamond door can be fortune. So I'll just bang them in there. And that the redstone clock is giving that a pulse. One. One. It's not fortune. One. Got an extra one that time. Well, that's tight. There we go. Well, out of eight, when I got twelve, it was a bit tight. Hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Last time we finished off with starting to get these things. The powered soil got no power at the minute. It's kind of one where I want to go with big reactor. I decided to go big power. So with a big turbine and big reactor, I can have loads of these things growing and we can start working towards getting loads of them. Because if you look at these seeds, there is a lot of different things we can have of those. There's all this stuff here. We can actually grow Eulorium once we've got a bit, as well, I believe. Eulorium, Electrum, Adai, Eulorium, there we go. So we can actually grow them, and hopefully we'll be able to grow enough of them so we'll be able to be Eulorium positive on a Turban build. So that's kind of when I want to go for that. I made the redstone one, didn't I? I've got some rough glowstone chunks. I want to quickly show you what we do with them once we've 
Got them. Ooh, something ready for a quest there. Uh, I forgot about that. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's go at that. Put them in there, and it gets a 16 glowstone. Wonderful. So we have got a source of glowstone, albeit a little bit slow at the minute. But well, that's all good. We can create glowstone now. And while I was at it, I did have a load of that diamond ore, and I had enough so that I could make myself a diamond seed. So I've 32 diamonds in there with an empty seed. Got me a diamond seed. Oh, I think I've lost some. I think I've lost some universal seeds as well. Are they expensive? What does it come from? Universal seed. Oh, not expensive, it's just a little awkward. <laughs> right. Look at quests. I want to get a few quests done this episode. I want two. So, they're all done, they're all done. Intrepid, what we got in here? We have got one quest open. It is to make a machine infuser. I need 256 dimensional shards. Right, the way I'm going to have to do this. I was debating doing this. What I was working towards was I was trying to work towards having enough of these that I could actually make a... A dimlet, a dimensional or dimlet, but I think it should be okay. Now combine it with this material absorber, like I mentioned a couple of episodes back. I think I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to get all these smashed up. So let's put some things in there that we don't have to have on our inventory. Oh, that seven. Is that? Hmm, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think, yeah, I thought you only got four of these. So these are fortunable. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I've still touched them all then. Because I've got a lot more than I thought I had. So, yeah, at some point I'd like to still touch two stacks worth of this. Which I wasn't that far off, I don't think. Nah, they've got stacks worth, didn't they? So, yeah, I was. I was quite a way off. What I think I'm going to have to do with this, this quest is asking for 256 of these. Which I believe is... Stacks in 32s. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Does it have to be my full bar? Is going to be all these? For it to register as having that many on my inventory. We shall see. So, I'll tell you what, I'll break all these up. I'll be back once they're all done because it's going to take me a little bit of time. So, I'll cut for just a second. So, yeah, there we go. I have got all these smashed up. I've got a load in there and uh, I had to put some in there as well. Oops. Oh, no, I didn't. Put my bag and my thing in there. And if you look at that, I've got uh, 256. So, eight stacks of 32. 256 dimensional shards. It's my free reward bags. That'll go on the floor because there's nowhere else for them to go. And we can now actually use these things. So, let me... Oh, Christ. Oh, the horror. The horror of this inventory. Uh, you go there. You come back there. And let's check what's in these. Mmm, pork. Mmm, pork. Mmm, soul sand. <laughs> not great, not a, not a big deal. Uh, pork's always good. I've got my soul sand dimlet right. So, one thing I need to do is I need to remake my infuser, because if you remember, I lost it when I died in the void. You can go in there for now. So let's remake this thing. So I've got two of them. I think it's like that, and four of them. Do they go there and there? I forgot to make it. Infuse. Err. Two diamonds is what I'm missing. I thought I had everything there to build that. Mm, can't done. Let's try that again then. Two diamonds. Two redstone. One of those and four of those. Now the first thing you should probably infuse while you know work, there we go, is the actual infuser. Because if you look there, uh, a fully infused infuser yeah, has reduced power consumption. And uh, I'm presuming it takes quite a lot of power. So that's not what we're going to do though. What we're going to do with it is we're going to go up to... And where can I store all this stuff? These have no compressed variant, do they? <laughs> no, not by the look of it. I had to look at page six. Ooh, energy collector. Okay, they have no compressed variant as far as I can tell. So they're going to have to go in there. Let's grab all these out of here. Because we're going to want these up on the Pathfinder where our 
RF tools machinery is. So yeah, when I get to the new base, I shall have all this automated and set up much better. We actually, we'll actually use the storage scanner. We'll have a load of banks of these things, and it'll all be much better than uh, it is now. Much better. Hmm. I've actually got quite a lot of these with, with me fortune in them, haven't I? I have more than I thought I had. This could actually be quite cool. I should be able to do the infuser as well. So, should I make a second infuser? A th technically a third infuser. Uh, yeah, I think I should. I think I should. So, two more of them. Two more of them. Want a machine frame which uses two of them and two of them and some iron, I think. Uh, you stay there for a second, Buck. One, two, three, four. Uh, is it like this? Should I just check any eye? No, it is like that. Away for me. I think they were that sad. And I've got no shards. Uh, they were there, that was there, and they were there. Bam, 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 bam. Right, so, a machine infuser. So let's actually put it down here, since we've seen as we're here. And I'm going to stick it right there. It's going to get power. What we're going to do is we're going to bang another machine infuser. On the floor, apparently. We're going to bang another machine infuser in it there. And what we're going to start doing is we're going to start filling this up with these. So we put 32 in there. You'll see it consumes them, and this is going to start getting infused. So that should tick us. It's twelve and a half percent. Is that right? Twelve and a half percent. Let's make sure I've got enough of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want for my workbench thing. Yeah, I've got enough, haven't I? Yes. Okay. So what we're doing is. We're infusing this. Technically, we want to infuse everything. If you look at these, they're all infused zero percent. That is, they are there. It reduces the cost of things having these infused. So we should technically do everything. I've not got enough of these yet, which is why I was going to get a load of silt touch, a lot of ores, so I can make myself a dimlet just full of ore blocks of this, which would be very nice. And uh, I think I have tested that in single player, so and that does work. Alright, I'll get this done. What we're going to want as well, in fact, let's see what quest we opened up from that. I'm guessing we should have a workbench quest now. Bam. Dimlet Scrambler, okay. Dimlet Scrambler should be pretty easy. So, a couple of un. Oh, okay. I think I've, uh, I've processed all my unknown dimlets. So I need to get a Dimlet Scrambler, okay, that's easy. That'll be pretty straightforward. I'll get that made. We've got another quest open, have we, in here? One available for completion. Okay, we've not got a Dimlet Workbench quest yet, have we? I want to make one of them as well. So I'm presuming that's going to be the, possibly the quest after it. Dimlet Workbench. So, there we go, another one of them. Basic stuff. But you see there on the infusion? This is the thing I want to infuse more than anything else. Infusing bonus. Increased chance of getting all parts out of the deconstructed dimlets. So what I actually want to do is I want it to I want to be able to break dimlets apart, get all the bits, and then create the ones I actually want. Uh, look at that scrambler. What's the infusion bonus on that? Reduce power consumption and increased chance of getting better dimlets. Mmm. I have not got enough to do all three of these things, have I? I should possibly. Okay, now I'm in a dilemma. How many of these have I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there yet. Okay, I should probably not have done this. Because it's just power. I can always get more power. I'll leave that 62% for now, we'll come back to that. I'm going to have to go mine up a bit more to get exactly what I want here. Which means after I've made a hammer and all stuff like that. Anyway, I shall get that scrambler made, I'll get the workbench made, I shall meet you on the pathfinder where we should be doing our next stuff. 
Well, I was expecting the wet bench to be next. It turns out it isn't. There's a couple of quests after this. So uh, we was on there, the machine infuser, dimensional shard. Our next one was to make a dimlet scrambler, which I have done. So I shall claim the reward there. Thank you very much. Room for the water my inventory. I have material soil sand, just what I didn't need. Got lots of them now. Uh, oh dear, I'm getting full in there. Uh, following that, we have got. Raven. Raven was to come to make 30 shield templates. So it's quite interesting. After viewing the inner workings of dimensions, it is becoming increasingly apparent that these dimensions draw from the power of the air around them. Provided with a template, you could probably build a machine capable of changing matter into something more energised and customizable, If only for a short period of time. Mm. Asked me to make some of these shield templates and shield projector tier 1. With the templates in hand, you can now construct the shield projector, a highly configurable device. This will allow you to project modular force fields that can be customised to your heart's content. Simply right click it with a wrench after supplying it with power to activate. I've got an idea what I could maybe use that for. But, uh, yeah, so I made some of them guys, shield templates, just wool, lapis, and glass. And then I made that guy, the shield projector, lapis, uh, sorry, obsidian, which is already some touch gold, and a machine frame. So that got me that quest done. So I can take a reward for that as well. And we get soul sand. Oh, we get a block of iron. In the in there you go. And then still no wet bench yet. What we've got next is open up this quest Triton. And this asked me for a material absorber. Well, I already had some of them. I got some of them as rewards from earlier, if you remember. And a liquid absorber. So I'm making a liquid absorber now. And that is a machine for him with four bits of wool, four buckets. Bam, gets us a liquid absorber and should give us another quest reward. Flying through the quest, and now we've got two opened up. We've got. Oh man. Let's experiment. We could create the essence of potentially very valuable material. However, it would probably be best to start off with something more common. So I need to get coal blocks. I need to get two. Uh, well, in this there'll be lots of stacks. 128 coal blocks I need, which. I do not have... Ooh! Let's have a look. <laughs> um, what have we got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... I've got enough. Awesome. Okay, let me set this up then, and we shall actually do this. Hmm, actually, let me set it up like this. What I should do is put coal in there, and then put our... Absorber guy. Hello, absorber guy. Place this block on top. Yeah, top. So, put that on there. That is going to start taking that off. Oh, excellent. One, two. Uh, three, four. Five, six. And one more it should be eight stacks of sixteen, which should get that to all the way. Excellent. So we'll leave that going. A reward bag with a block of copper. In you go. It's a different kind of copper. That's tinkers. In you go. Weird that it'll take tinkers ingots, but not blocks. So okay. So we're working on that. Very nice. Biome absorber. Ooh, okay. Biome absorber uses a material and a liquid. Four planks, two saplings. Well, I've got a material and liquid there. I've got a machine frame. I've got four planks. One, two, three, four. And I need to make a little bit of room. Grab two saplings. Flying, flying, flying through all the quests here. So that, that, two of them, one of them, one of them. Buy them, absorb it. Thank you. Complete. Easy as that. Another hard and flux capacitor. Or minus one inventory slot as they become done. So that's going to be a biome absorber. 
Place this block in an area and it will gradually absorb the essence of the biome it is in. You can use the end result in the dim lit workbench. Lovely. Okay, put you in there for now. Put you back. Come on, give me a workbench. <laughs> so that's working away. Something stopped behind me. That's 100%. Give me my pick. I'm hoping the pick is fine. Cool or absorb 100%. Oh, balls. Coal blocks. I have failed massively there, haven't I? Oh, coal blocks. 128 of them guys. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could make a coal all way out. <laughs> there. Hmm. Okay, well I'll come back to that. Well I'm gonna actually I'm just gonna make the I'm gonna make the thing that I'm after here, because uh, I wanna show you in action. And it keeps not giving me it yet. I wanna make a workbench. So let's grab that. Two workbenches. Uh, two not workbenches, crafting tables. We need a one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Gonna get us our frame, and then four gold nuggets. Yeah, redstone and a dimlet. One, two, three, four, a redstone, and an unknown dimlet. Bam. Two of them. One of them. Four of them. One of them. One of them. Dimlet workbench. What we can do in this is we can break dimlets down. And as it is standard, you get a 5% chance of getting the, these parts. What we're going to do is we're going to fully infuse it. Might as well do it in here since it's still here. So we'll put that there. I'm going to give this a 100% infusion. So I shall get that infused. So if you shift over this, you'll see there that. Infusing bonus, increased chance of getting something out of the deconstructed dimlets. We can pull dimlets apart in this and we can get 100% of the items back and then we can actually make dimlets. So I'll be able to make a coal or dimlet. We'll make a little coal or weld. I'll mine a lot of coal and then I'll make it into blocks and then I'll do the actual quest. Right, while that's doing... Did we actually finish the other quest then? We did, didn't we? So, didn't actually ask me to do anything with... The other thing there. Yeah. Oh, cool. I made one of them on um, my Infinity episode. That might be out today, or yesterday, or tomorrow. They're very cool. Anyway, while that's going, a little side track. Uh, yeah, I did actually want to infuse that other machine I made, didn't I? The Scrambler. I want to see that in action. So I'll put all these into that. I'll meet you up on the Pathfinder. We'll break some dimlets apart and stuff. On my little thing there, one thing I did forget to mention. Dimension anchor. I made a dimensional anchor, which is a chunk loader. So I've got a little 3x3 three three chunk loader there. Just sat in my base, which is keeping this chunk loaded while I'm up on the Pathfinder. So it keeps processing stuff if I, if I have anything processing while I'm up there. Sweet. So let's jump up there then. Beep. And we can do a few things up here now. Now, uh, turn the map off. There we go. So, right. I brought a bit more coal just in case it was getting low. We've got eight in there, that's okay. I've got some more in there as well, so that's all okay as well. Right then, so what do I want to do here? I want to get these machines out. So this sounds quite interesting. Shield protects it. This machine can build a shield out of adjacent shield template blocks. I don't have a play around with that. I'm not going to have a play around with it just a minute though. I've got 32 blocks to play with. That's all good. And then I got my machine infuser there, the one that I actually infused. If you remember, <laughs> I used the uninfused one to make them two. Because I forgot that I'd infused one. It was only like 10, uh, 20 seconds earlier or something. So are you? 
You're a cover. You are a cover. I thought you were. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do is... This is a terrible way of doing this. So you're a cover as well. You are. Okay, so let's have these here. These will all be moving at some point in the future. I'm going to have my... Three machines down here. Machine infuser. Dimlet workbench. Dimlet scrambler. So they're all getting power. So my scrambler is 66% infused. As you can see by well there. My workbench is 100% infused. Okay, what I'm going to do then is... We're going to grab some of these dimlets out of here. As you can see, I just made some more tools. I've made a shiny hammer. I think I've made it terribly. I used shiny and uh, vanillion. Well, I've got a shiny hammer of 23,000 and a uh, shiny excavator for digging. I need to get emeralds. I need to get emeralds. So, right, what does a dimlet scrambler do for me? Dimlets. Scrambler, let's mouse over it. Insert three known dimlets, one of which at least, well, of which at least two should be non craftable, and it will turn a new random dimlet. Okay, so three known dimlets. So I can start grabbing ones out of here. That one. That dot one, I mean. So let's go with. Let's try what three of them does for me first. So, bam. And we're going to have a bit of a processing thing. This can be a black stained glass. We have scrambled a dimlet. Uh, it's not exactly ideal. Not exactly what we really wanted. What we actually want is... These effects, I don't think I really want poison. Or slowness. So let's chuck them in there. So that material one gave me another material one. <laughs> Screw you, soul sand. Let's uh, get rid of some more soul sand, because it seems to love giving me soul sand. Let's have all three of them in there. Go away with soul sand. Give me something new and exciting. Liquid orbs. That's kind of better than soul sand. Uh, we've already got one of them as well, though. Alright. Uh, <laughs> black stain clay. Let's get rid of you. So this is, of course, using power. I have to keep an eye on my power use. Got me ravines. Mm. So I'm going to have a play with these off camera. See what exciting stuff we can get. Now this is a different one. This is... Did I leave the thing on the planet? I did. I left that bloody material thing down there. What I can do with this one is we can break things down. And we get all these things. So what I'm going to break down here is I'm going to break down a material one. I'm going to break down a cyan clay one in this workbench. I'm, I presume we'll get a quest for this at some point. And I'm going to ask it to extract. And that's going to work away. And because this is 100% infused, we've got all these bits out. So what I can do with these is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's leave, left as one bit. That is where your material absorber thing goes in. And so if I had my... I'll have to go and get it I. OK, I'm back then. I jump down and grab my material absorber, jump back up. So now if I put that in there, what we're going to get... What are we going to get? Will it work? I don't want to extract. Hmm. I thought, if I put you in there, you should work. Here's the result of the Dimbleck workbench yet. Oh. I got an achievement, but nothing happened. Construct a new dimlet out of parts. I've allegedly constructed one. I do not see it. It's not on the floor. Parts are all in there still. What's going on? Got power. That's as automatically extracts. It's not to put stuff together. Something is not working. It should give me a new dimlet in there. As far as I know. 
Well, that's how that's supposed to work. <sighs> okay, let me try and uh, I'll do a relog, see if that sorts it out. Okay, I was missing something here. It was not. It was me doing something wrong. If I shift and over this, you'll see there uh, the bottom part of that. Note that you would need a control circuit of the right rarity in order to make a dimlet of that rarity. So if we look at that, our block call or if we look there, material call or dimlet is a rarity of three, and the one I brought down was a rarity of one. So I'm going to break, break this one down. This is a molten mana infused metal, and mana infused metal don't need for much or anything, I don't think. So I'm going to put that into there to extract. I should put the bits into here. What we've got there now is a rarity 3 control dimlet. It should now work. It's still in working. Each dimlet type is a specific controller. So that's material. Material yet. What's this one? Basic energy for run, well, okay, regular for two and three, advanced for higher, okay. So, regular, one of them. I was missing stuff. The basic memory unit, blah, 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 regular for two and three, so we need a better memory unit. There we go. So, I had cocked it all up by putting a too low rarity thing in there. So, now we've got our material coal or dimlet. I can now make a dimension with material coal or and then mail all of that so we can actually get our other one sorted mm. uh, and for our quest sorted there is a few things I'm going to make I'm going to make a material coal, coal or dimlet now I have got here in extreme hills does extreme hills still give emerald? don't know I don't even know if that's a thing anymore I know it used to be a thing Liquid Nova Lava, don't know what that is. Time fast. Mm. Uh, right, so I want to make a couple of things. One, I want to make a real nice basic dimlet that has time, sand, and... I'm going to have to cut and sort all these out. Tell you what, I'll get it all sorted in here, what I want, and then I shall come back. I'm going to make another couple of dimensions. Okay then, I've done this bit once, but I got a bit uh, I got a bit babbly and carried away with it, so I'm going to do it again. What I decided to do was, I decided to start breaking some of these down. Now these, if we was playing full survival, we would put power in with this thing. And it would put so much power into these, and then that maintenance cost would come off the stored power. And once that runs out, you could not go there, I think. Because we have got a creative dimension builder, we can actually just extract these and take the things back out of them. So... I have just made this one. I'm about to make a second one here. I was going to make a real basic one, but I'm going to add something to that in a minute. I've just been back to my base and made a couple of sets of stuff for getting back. So I'll be able to get back here once I've gone down to these two. So if I put that in there, if you press the extract, that's what I put into that one. So I've extracted a couple of the others. We've got the basic one on my basis still, but I've extracted the one with the lapis tendrils and the one with the nether quartz. So we can still go to them, and they're still showing in the dialer. But because we've got this creative thing, they won't run out of power, I think. And what we've got here is effect none, material temporal ore, terrain flat, material nether yellowite ore. In fact, I'm going to pull them ones out. Yeah, fluid time sand, fluid lakes. So this is purely for clockwork phase, this one. We've got a real nice little basic thing here. Uh, actually, because I've already made it, it's already made, isn't it? So there's, mm, so there's no point taking that out now. Because I've already made it. So let's put them back. Mm -hmm. So I made one of clockwork phase. It's going to have temporal law. It's going to be what the world's made out of. It's going to be flat. And it's going to have lakes of fluid time sand and it should have dimlets of yellow right or so i'll store that back in there i could in theory take that back out well, that's that shouldn't be shown as a separate one there because we already had that yeah so that's that one and this one i just wanted to add a little more to this i want to get feature 
orbs. I want to get that materials coal that I made. Where's that then? Aluminium coal, right. So what I'm going to do with this one is we're going to have, again, effect none, because that keeps things safe. And with this one, I'm going to go Biome Extreme Hills. I don't know what the M stands for. Biome Extreme Hills. I want to see if it's got emerald ore generated in it. So I want it to be normal ore gen. I'm going to go terrain normal, so that's all good. And for a bit of extra, we're going to have coal or orbs so it should have coal or orbs in the sky and for that of course we need a blank one of these dealies that you get with that thing uh, that thing there we've already got some spare ones so i'll use that one we'll store that and there we go we've got two fresh with our dimensions so you see that one that one's going lower now so that's from 51 hour tick hour for tick don't know why that one's so low. But this one ID8. Look at that. If you was doing that in survival, then you'd be running at 8,500 hour of tick. Pricey, pricey. So let's go to one of these then. So we need to interrupt that. And uh, we're only showing one there. Why? We're only showing one. ID6, ID7, because 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 i've not put that in there that's a fresh one isn't it yeah because i put it in there idiot no it's a realized dimension there we go so now we should have two fresh ones on there id7 and id8 sweet so we'll go to seven let's dial that go and have a look so this should be our temporal r1 i think i may need to make a clockwork pick again remember i lost mine when i died so this should be a flat world made of temporal or and it is so wonderful we've got of course it's night time and it's raining just for good measure we've got temporal or and we've got liquid time sand now can i i can actually can okay i can mine that with a normal one so these are going to be useful for our other quests uh, the quests that I've got, ready to, I've got one ready to do actually. If you look in here, so of course we're working through Intrepid at the minute. We've also got Liberty, and in Liberty, we need to make a clockwork uh, celestial compass court, which I've actually made. But then after that, we're going to need this stuff, temporal art, and we're going to need this stuff, fluid time sand. So that's why I want to make this one. There should be orbs in the air as well. Little, uh, little clue to what I was building there because that was showing you the map from the uh, oh, looks like I've got tendrils not orbs what's this tendril of oh, is that an orb behind it perhaps what are these tendrils let's have a look this should be yellow right or which is awesome so this is going to this is going to Sweet, and that's going to explode, isn't it? Or is it not? There we go, so that's going to be our fuel source for our uh, turbine. Wonderful. Hello, cow. So it looks like you don't die in that stuff, that's good to know. So we have got a wonderful, wonderful world full of temporal ore. So we've skipped the uh, legit way of getting this. I might actually try and work out the legit way as well. I'm sure one of the quests will explain how to get it in a legit way. So we shall do that as well. If I come back now. In fact, give me a minute. I'll just set up my. Uh, can I do it quick enough? Yeah, I can do it quick enough, guy. What I need to do here then is I need to go boop. And um, boop. I want one of them. I have made matter transmitters that I didn't need to make. Matter received, I mean, I didn't need to make. I have just realised. One of them. First, the right way, just because I like things looking neat. And that down there. With half of them in. Eventually, I shall have a. Um, what do you call it there? 
Tesseract. I'll bring a Tesseract when we can Tesseract all this stuff. So I can call this Temporal. I'm not doing it with the up and down letters because I don't like that. <laughs> I'm too old for shit like that. Temporal. Temporal. There we go. So, uh, okay, I need to wait for this to fill up anyway, don't I? So I shall let this fill up. I shall create the... I shall, I shall go to the other one. I might as well man a bit this while I'm here then, aren't I? Uh, I shall let this fill up, I shall go to the one, and I shall see you there, and we'll see what that other one's like. Let's get out of here then. I spent some time mining out there and taking a look at that yellow ore. Yellow so I have got some resources. Uh, I shall have to go back for the fluid time sand, but my inventory is so full. Uh, I'll just quickly check that uh, mine shaft place there. I was hoping for some emeralds, but no emeralds, but some other good stuff. That's all good. Uh, I'll bang them in there for now, out the way. I've got a bag full of temporal ore nuggets and a bag full mostly full of yellow right awesome so let's jump all that in there for now i'll take this down to the to the base in a bit wanna, we want to now interrupt that and we want to go to this one so this is our extreme hills so we should have coal or orbs in the sky Ideally, I would like silk touch, oh it's so dark. <laughs> well, I can't see any orbs for a start. It doesn't look very extreme hilly either. Well, it's very dark. I think I'm going to have to leave it here. Uh, I shall wrap up this episode. Why would you not lit up? You're glowstone. You should have been lit up. It's made out of clay. Oh, this one might have gone a bit wrong. Well, this could be a big hill. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. So a bit more RF tools dimension exploring. Next episode is going to be mostly concentrated on clockwork phase, I think. Because we've done a lot of stuff on um, temporal in this one, haven't we? A lot of stuff in, sorry, in here. So what was our next thing for this? We need to get, I need to get a lot of coal blocks. I have actually got enough in my thing there for that, but uh, I shall get a lot of more fresh ones. I could really do with fortune on one of these, on a hammer. And uh, that one was, of course, the environmental control. Okay, I'll get that med for next time. But next episode, we shall concentrate more on the stuff out of liberty. See where that one takes us. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.